Hey everybody, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic, and I'm here today with some awesome new toys for our latest video unboxing and review. These are the new, I guess you could call them 2020, but they're here now, it's 2019, but they're the Primal Attack figures from Mattel, the new Jurassic World figures. We have a new Extreme Chomp and T-Rex, as well as some attack packs, the first wave of those. So very excited to finally get my hands on these. And of course, open them up and show them to you all on camera. So um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started and, and uh, take a look at these things in box before we go ahead and open them up. So we'll go ahead and start with the Extreme Chomp and T-Rex over here. Um, our first view of a figure in packaging that we got this year was this Rex. Um, as far as the actual final figure, I have to thank my buddy Jurassic Your World or Movie Poster Guy for hooking me up with this. Um, it's shipping on Amazon now too, so... A lot of people should be able to get their hands on this one as well. Uh, I'll put that link in the video description for anyone looking to score this one. But yeah, I mean, this thing looks great already in the box. We're already seeing that new Primal Attack packaging with the new Jurassic World logo, um, these cool stripes it has going on, and uh, the background too, which I'll get to a little bit more in the Attack Pack figures because it's a little more clear on display there. But um, yeah, the Rex itself is a repaint of the Extreme Chompin' Rex, but with bite and fight colors, uh, which are, um, you know, it looks like a, a real like Jurassic Park one T-Rex as far as the coloration goes. So that's why we love it. And that's why we're excited about it. So um, enough gushing about it in the box. Well, let's take a look at the box. Um, the back of the box I think is worth looking at because it has this cool design treatment with um, kind of like this digital background the outline of the island there too but the t-rex looks really cool on it i actually kind of wish we could get this t-rex figure because the paint job on him is a lot more darker and saturated with stripes but still happy with what we got but it's always funny how these um these renders on the back of the boxes always come off looking a little bit different but let's go ahead and open her up and get her built with what limited um assembly there is required so cut those lines i think there's probably going to be some uh ooh, it hurts to open this beautiful box um but it's got to be done um and hopefully i don't send everything falling down in the process looks like there's a, a tie here for the tail that will very carefully open up tail is still not free i'm guessing these feet are um are kind of locked in the bottom yep so we'll just twist that one Sorry guys, as always, it can be kind of awkward to open these up on camera, but the attack pack should go a lot smoother and it wouldn't be an unboxing video without some unboxing, right? So looks like the figure itself is loose. We just gotta get this tail out of here. It looks like it's got a nice big, thick cardboard kind of like cable holding it in. Ah. Oh, almost got it, all right. There we go. And while we're at it, you can kind of see the background of the box um, full on display here. Man, I love that fence motif and with the grass and the sunset. We'll go ahead and look at that again, again, while we look at the attack packs. But let's take a look at the figure. Put my knife away here. And uh, a little bit of uh, assembly required, like all Rexes. This peg is going to go in. Make sure I'm doing this right. And that, that's the tail. All right, cool. So there she is, the new Extreme Chompin' T-Rex uh, in all of its glory. The paint coloration on this, of course, as I said before, is the bite and fight. So you have that darker color on the back that extends to the neck and the head. It's not that uniform brown that we see on a lot of the Mattel Rexes that are reminiscent of Jurassic World or Fallen Kingdom. This one feels like a Jurassic Park 1 T-Rex. I just love the paint coloration. And what's great about the Extreme Chompin' T-Rex figure is this articulation it has. Uh, if you don't have this Rex already, I'll walk you through it. We have um, legs with a uh, ball joint on them. Um, so each leg kind of has a, a, a pretty nice range of motion forward and back and sort of um, within the figure. It rotates too. The feet have a little bit of like rotation on them, but I think that's just to fit it in the box. I wouldn't mess with that too much um, to keep the figure 
you know, from breaking. The tail that I just put on obviously has a ball joint on it that's all rotated, which is really cool. And the neck has two um, forms of articulation, which is uh, at the base of the skull and then where the neck meets the body. So that allows you to do some really cool poses with this thing. Um, and that's my favorite part of this figure is that articulation. Oh, and of course the, uh, the arms are on a swivel as well. And then we have that roaring action, which is the button on the back of the neck you press and uh, the Rex lets out its iconic roar. With the, t the tongue, um, you can kind of see the tongue is, uh, it's out, but it's not like totally out. Earlier versions of this figure when it was the Fallen Kingdom version had like this crazy rock and roll uh, tongue, but this one does not have that. Um, but yeah, you can see her. I mean, she's just a beauty. That paint coloration is what really shines here. And of course, all this articulation lets you do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, cool, cool poses. Uh, that's really what this particular mold for Mattel is. That The particular mold being Extreme Chomp. And we've seen it with the uh, regular brown first release. And then we had a... Um, like a metallic nose version for Destructosaurs. And then we also had this uh, Lost World Buck Rex uh, green version that was really cool. But this is my favorite easily out of the box. I can say that this is my favorite by far. I just love the paint coloration on this thing. I love the detail um, in the face still, but like, again, these colors are just perfect for it. And you can see too, this Rex doesn't have any scars on its jaws either. So that just shows you that this is a, uh, you know, truly a Jurassic Park Rex and not necessarily the Fallen Kingdom Rex. So yeah, that's actually interesting that there's no scars on it. I just noticed that. I'd have to go pull down one of my other Extreme Chompin' Rexes. I think they all don't have scars. I think because they were originally a Legacy Collection mold. So um, it's supposed to be a different T-Rex. So yeah, love this thing. Super happy with it. Uh, it's a great addition. Even though it is a repaint, it's a much welcomed repaint because we just like this this version of the paint on this figure so well. So awesome job, Mattel. Um, again, the definitive Jurassic T-Rex on display there. Very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these attack pack figures next. Now there's some new figures, all new figures. There's also some um, repaints and there's also a straight up repack. So we'll get that one out of the way first because it is a repack and it does let me kind of talk about the packaging a little bit too. So let's go ahead and grab Herarosaurus. Hope I'm saying that right. Here's the figure in package. And as you can see, um, this figure is actually um, not new and I'll get to that, but let's talk about the packaging first. Uh, this, this figure in particular isn't blocking a lot of what's going on in the background. I love this fence in the sunset. I said it before, I'll say it again. I just love the, the packaging this year on these figures. The jungle leaves, the grass, the sunset, it all looks awesome. And I think these attack pack figures really jump off the shelf when you see them because of it. Um, so really, really job well done, Mattel. That's probably one of my favorite things about this figure, since it is not a new figure, is that uh, that really cool background art. Um, and then the back of the card for all these attack packs is the same. Uh, again, with that kind of blue digital motif, as well as uh, pictures of the four figures you can buy in this line. I gotta say the Dracorex does not <laughs> quite look like the version that is actually the figure that came out. But anyway, back to this figure. Um, again, I'm not gonna open this because I already have this figure, um, but I will show the figure. This came out with um, Dino Rivals, came out with the Coliris uh, wave, uh, the Herarosaurus. Uh, so it's just the same exact figure. It's not a new figure. There was a moment where I think a few people thought that maybe the paint coloration was uh, done a different pattern, but I'm here to say that this is the uh, exact same figure. But I do like this one. I mean, uh, for an attack pack, it has neck articulation and it has jaw articulation. We have a ton of Harar stores from Mattel at this point. Um, we have a couple battle damage versions, a couple attack packs, so uh, they're really spoiling us with them. Um, too much so that they're doing this repack, which I don't think was necessary. I would have liked another repack of a more sought after, more sought after attack pack figure, or possibly a um, possibly a repaint of Herarosaurus, I guess, if we had to have a Herarosaurus. So um, yeah, repacked figure, nothing new. We'll go ahead and put this carded one aside and I will stick the figure for what it's worth over there with the Rex and we'll get to some of the truly new stuff that's part of this new attack pack wave, um, starting with Dracorex. So Dracorex here, this will be the third version of this figure. Again, looks great in the packaging. 
I mean, yeah, third version of Dracor X. We had a Dino Rivals version as well as like a story pack one that came with the 4x4. But this figure does have a new paint job on it, which is pretty exciting. People have been calling it the Mountain Dew Dracor X, which cracks me up. Uh, <laughs> the Baja Blast. <laughs> Dracor X, pretty funny. It does have a very vibrant green to it, but um, let's get a, go ahead and get it out and look at it. Um, you'll already notice with all of these uh, attack pack figures that the way they're different from Dino Rivals is that they do not have the collector cards as part of um, part of the package. It's just the toy. Uh, oh, look at that. I love this card art. Oh my gosh. I wish I could take this plastic off without ripping this because this looks so cool. I'm going to try to do it on one of these if I can. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and discard that. And let's take a look at the Dracorex figure. So just like the other ones, um, the articulation in the feet and the arms, uh, the tail also kind of swivels back and forth. But this one actually has pretty nice head articulation in that the neck goes up and down and the head on the on the neck kind of has like a a little bit of a ball joint so you can do some really um, unique poses with this but this is the third Dracorex figure uh, I won't do a, a comparison because there's a lot to talk about in this video and I don't want to do make it to uh, to extend past 20 minutes or so I try to cap my videos at that so um, awesome figure it's got the horns all colored in too I'm not sure can't really see right now if the other ones have the same paint detail as far as the horns go but um all in all i think it's a pretty nice update to this figure i still think i like the the original one the most but this is nice too i, I really like kind of the vibrancy of it um and it does look nice with the other ones i think it's going to look good with those vibrant colors so that is the dracorex uh not a new figure but a new paint scheme so um semi new figure um Let's talk about these new figures. And before I do that, I'm going to need to remove some props behind these figures. Um, I had some stuff back there so that so that everything was uh, visible while I filmed. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start with, uh, I think we're going to start with Calovosaurus. And I really hope I'm saying that right for everybody at home. Uh, Calovosaurus, this is a herbivore. Uh, it looked like an iguanodon when it was first released uh, without a... Um, without any description, but it's really cool. Uh, I love getting herbivores, and this one is um, definitely something a little different than the Ceratopsians we've gotten and some of like the uh, like the uh, Gallimimus or, or something like that that's, um, you know, it's, it's cool, but like this thing looks like it really has some heft to it, so I'm really excited about um, getting this one in the Jurassic line. So I'll shut up and I will open it. Calivosaurus, whoa, coming out. There it is, very cool. Um, I'm immediately impressed with this figure. I really like this. Um, the color, the paint coloration, it has like this um, colorful stripe that's going on in the tail that's really, really cool. And um, the tail has articulation. It swings back and forth, which is kind of cool. Then it's got this really vibrant color on the back that is in the thighs a little bit. And then the neck articulates. The head does not articulate. It's just the neck. And then of course you have um, the, the arms and legs that rotate as well. And it looks like it's kind of meant to go up on all fours, but you can also probably give it a little bit more of like a bipedal stance, but I don't think it's gonna, going to um, stand very well. But um, yeah, I, I love this. It's a, it's a great new addition to our herbivores. Um, looks nice, it's gonna be nice to, next to the Parasaurol office and the Edmontosaurus when that comes out later this year. Um, I've never heard of this species before, so I don't know a ton about it, but it does look like an iguanodon as far as like the um, the hands and stuff go. I'm sure all of you in the comments who are very knowledgeable about this sort of thing will weigh in on that. Oh, I noticed the beak has a little bit of color too. So um, yeah, very nice figure. This is, we'll see. This might be my favorite one that I we're opening um, for this video. I just, I love how the tail rotates too. You kind of get a little bit more... Um, a little bit more life in this figure when you uh just by moving the tail a little bit so very nice i like it we'll go ahead and put him towards the front because he's he's new um so let's go ahead and open up ornitholestes uh ornitholestes I, I really think i'm saying that right um i think this is i don't know this is a carnivore it's got sharp teeth it, it must be um but um you know, this is an all new figure, so not a repaint or anything like that. We'll go ahead and open it up. Kind of reminds me of the Coleris at first blush, or maybe even the Mononychus. But it looks like it's got a little bit more going on to it. Oh, yeah, this is kind of a... feels bigger in the package. Once you get it out, it feels just the right size. 
So there is Ornitholestes. Um, very cool. So the head has a little bit like of a paint stripe on it with some adding some paint that's not anywhere else in the body but the tail has got paint on it as well as the body and legs um it has a very much like a like a, a skinny sauropod uh design uh like again like the cholerist or something but looks like it's got um a jaw that opens oh yep there you go so it can um it can yell <laughs> it can bite um the arms and legs are articulated like all of these figures um anyway i really like this the neck it's got a little bit of articulation too so you can do some some interesting poses there i think i actually like the mouth closed better which uh is kind of how i am about a lot of these figures i do like the mouth closed but he's pretty cool again i, I don't know if he's a carnivore or herbivore or omnivore or somewhere in between but um i really like his eyes too um a little bit cartoony i know we've talked um here on Click Jurassic and like the podcast a little bit about some of the cartooniness of these figures. And this one probably files under cartoony, whereas the Calavosaurus feels a little bit more paleo accurate to me anyway. I'm not really like, a, you know, someone who is, stays up to date with new dinosaur designs. But to me, the, the Ornitholestes is, is on the it's on the cartoony side. Um, but uh it's still a very cool new figure to have, and I really do like that they went all out with the paint job as far as getting the tail painted, too. That's not something we, we see a lot, but it, it's there on the Cal Calavosaurus, too. So, um, nice little playful-looking dinosaur, if anything. Um, another new addition to our parks. So... That about covers all of the figures that are out right now for Primal Attack. Again, this is the Attack Pack that came out, uh, the Attack Pack Wave that included these four figures, as well as this Extreme Chomp and T-Rex, which is shipping from Amazon right now. These Attack Pack figures you can find uh, in Target. Uh, you can also find them in Walgreens if you're uh, checking. Um, it's all luck of the draw right now as they are brand new figures and they can be harder to find. But um, if you do hunt them, if you do manage to hunt them down, I would definitely recommend these two because they are new obviously if you're a dracorex fan or you're just a completionist you should definitely pick up the new one now but unless you're crazy about packaging there's really no reason to buy another herarosaurus figure because it is a straight repack but very much happy with these two new sculpts especially the calivosaurus i think it's one of my favorites um as far as the rex goes I know a lot of people are saying stuff like, oh, it's just the re-release, it's just a repaint, but this is a really cool paint job on this Rex. So for me personally, it's worth picking up, even though I already have like four or five Rexes at this point. Um, I've been waiting for this one because of their articulation and because of that awesome paint job. So all in all, I think uh, 2020 slash late 2019 is off to a great start for Mattel. I'm really excited about these new figures. A nice mix of repainted old as well as some all new sculpts. And I'm really excited to get my hands on the rest of the Primal Attack line as there's some really cool stuff going forward. So stay tuned to Collect Jurassic. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back with more Primal Attack reviews as the figures come out. But until then, I'm Tim and thanks for watching.